Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Giant James Kitchen. Today I am joined by the lovely Cassie Toot. Hi guys. Hi. Um, you guys might recognize me from my show, You Can't Sit With Us, which is on lojo.com at 8pm on Friday nights. Excellent. So today we are cooking uh, like a couple of dishes which are going to stretch out over a few episodes. We've got a um, ch honey lemon chicken thighs, burnished chicken thighs with a uh, uh, garlic and some, some roasted corn and uh, then we've got uh, a Mexican salad um, and then we've got some prawn tacos with like paprika, chili and stuff. So we'll run through each, uh, each dish one at a time, go through the ingredients and, uh, and what it's all about. So We've been very ambitious with this. We are, yeah. <laughs> yeah just like, we're going to be here all afternoon. Yeah, we are. It's alright, we've, we've got some beers, we've got some Old Henry, we've got some cider, we've got a little bit of whiskey, so I'm sure that'll get us through the day. We're going to be passed out drunk by and the time we Tons of tons of food, yeah, pro probably stumble out of here. Andrew, the producer, will have to pour us into the lift. Maybe, like he has to do it every night after you can't sit with us. Me Pretty much, you. yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's so, used to it. So their, their show on Friday nights is kind of like this sit down and kind of get pissed uh, thing and talk like yeah. crap about life yeah, and shoot the shit. shit, yeah. That's sex, dicks and politics. It's good fun, I've been on it. You just get kind of hammered and just chat, just speak what's on your mind and you know, flirt for a while. It's good, you know, good two hours of your time. So <laughs> if you've got nothing to do on a Friday night, it's Don't Hong Kong, it. it's or pre-drink to it or something, you know, go crazy. <laughs> So just to run through the ingredients we've got today, you've got the corn, fresh corn. Uh, we, we've already removed the silks from the corn, uh, which are the little bits. I should have done this on, on camera. Uh, there's little stringy bits that are like silk and you've got to remove those before you cook the corn. If you can't get hold of one of these, you can use an alternative like canned corn. Just try not to pick anything with added sugar in it because a lot of the corn is crap and it's got lots of additives in it to keep it fresh. To try and find, what was it, the brand you mentioned before? Uh, Green Giant corn, I like to use. So, I mean, we're yeah. not sponsored by them, but it's not good. Yeah, so Jolly Green Giant usually got quite good provenance records, so you can use some of their products, no, no crap in it whatsoever. Uh, then we've got some boneless chicken thighs. Uh, you can use bone chicken thighs, it doesn't really matter. You can use duck, you can use any kind of bird. Uh, this kind of works, chicken is the best, chicken or turkey, but really, Chicken is the best. Uh, bone-in, you guys will have more cooking time. Though. Yeah, true. So bone-in will require a little bit more chicken uh, cooking time, um, but uh, just as delicious. And we've got some fresh lemons, so we'll need that. Uh, you should only really need one, but they look nice when there's more of them. <laughs> got some fresh garlic um, as well, which we're going to use in the sauce. We're going to create like a lemon sauce, uh, lemon soy sauce. Um, you'll see it when we make it, it's going to be delicious. We're going to pour over and bake. We've got some butter to cook with. I love cooking with butter. We have enough butter. I'm not sure we need like at least four times this. Just like, take a bite out of it. <laughs> Tempting, I do love constant. butter. I could, I could put butter on everything. Like you Just smear it all over your naked body. <laughs> James takes right. butter baths, guys. Do I? It's a true fact. That's news to me, but yeah, why not? Let's go for it. So um, then for herbs wise, we've got some thyme. Um, dried is best. I mean, you can get fresh thyme, but it doesn't really grow I'm not. Well, I don't really know anyone in Hong Kong that grows it, um, so you might as well just you get the dry it. stuff. City Super. City Super, welcome. All supermarkets should have sort of dried, uh, dried spices, and it's you're only going to use a tiny amount of this each time. So this little pot might seem expensive, like a hundred bucks or whatever, but it'll last you, I don't know, a month, two months, yeah. you know, if you're using and it all the time. And if you buy fresh thyme, it tends to go off quite quickly, and you're not using all the rest. It's true, yeah. Fresh herbs, unless you've got a herb garden on the wall or with the windowsill and will kind of go off quite quickly. So then we've got some garlic powder. We're just gonna use this as a substitute for the garlic as well, just to add it in to a bit more garlic flavor, because I like garlic. Do you like I garlic? I fucking love garlic. She fucking loves garlic, so perfect. I forgot to ask whether we were allowed to swear. I uh, don't normally, but I mean, you know, you express yourself, go wild. Yes, <laughs> since I'm here. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, it's all right. Uh, the rules. Yeah, it's okay, we can bend the rules a little bit. Um, then we've got uh, white pepper, you can use black pepper, it doesn't really matter. We're just going to use it to season the chicken breast, chicken thighs, we have some um, Sichuan. Um, you're going to need to use some salt as well. This time we've got some seasoned salt. You can use sea salt, you can use normal salt, it doesn't really matter. We're just going to use it to season the thigh. Uh, we've got some sour cream as well, so we're going to need some of that. That's going to, that's wrong dish. That's, that's the, the wrong thing. That's for another dish, yeah. so ignore that. Um, We've got some soy sauce, which is going to go. For, this is going to be the base of our sauce, um, coupled with some honey. So soy sauce is really heavy, very salty, right? Really dry in the mouth. Honey, sweet, 
um, thick syrupy will just it's add some. Like you. Thank you, darling. <laughs> it'll add some texture. It'll counteract the saltiness, and it'll give that nice, like, sweet glaze on the on that skin. Like, it'd be delicious. And finally, some oregano, oregano, as they say. <laughs> Oregano. Oregano, man. Uh, so right, so let's get cooking. Um, yeah. First of all, my trusty helper slash genius slash legend uh, Cassie is going to put some uh, butter in the pan. She's going to sear the... Well, actually, explain what you're going to do. Uh, yeah, our producer loves like being a bit random with his um, <laughs> shopping purchases. With the, with the like he'll like buy half of the chicken thighs with bones in them and half without. So. Um, this is what we have to work under, people. It's terrible. Right? Just can't work like this. Yeah, yeah. Tell the children the iPhone factory is in Yeah, I know, I know. Like, first of all, problems or what? So, yeah, it's pretty. Um, so, yeah, I just like to dry off the skin a bit. Um, yeah. I have a little bit of trouble with this pan. So, can you help me switch? It? Yeah, sure. So, um, you just hold down this little button here. Yeah, I always And this will come it. like that. And then just do that. And then you're good. But you need to put some butter in, otherwise, it'll burn. Butter. Uh, there you go, here's a knife. Oh, okay. Okay. Not just a pretty face, eh? Yeah. Uh. Use loads of butter. And wait, no, actually, I want to use oil first and then butter. Well, do we have oil? We have olive oil, yeah. I fucked up! This is my kitchen. I know my way around. Um, the butter burns too quickly. True. I'll do a butter bath. Oh, she's good. She's become quite quite domesticated in recent times, haven't you? Uh, it's married, married life. Married life. Coffee changes. Okay. I use a lot of salt. It's bad. It's That's fine. I like lots of salt, lots of seasoning. It has loads of flavour. It's all good. So right, you're gonna die when you're 45 anyway. Yeah, 45 <laughs> is optimistic. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I was just, I was trying to be nice. Uh, the lifestyle you currently live, like. Uh, <laughs> it's not good. I'm used to this as well. Yeah. So this is the seasoned salt. Just gonna chuck on top. Like, don't worry if you don't have it. There's plenty of flavour in the sauce we're gonna use anyway, so it's not a huge deal. Yeah. But, you can make your own seasoned salt if you just make salt with garlic powder or with. Yeah. Herbs. Definitely play around with it. It's all good. Very nihilistic there. Uh, that's okay, let's see if it's hot enough. This is how I like to check whether it's hot enough. Um, yeah, it's hot enough. So I'm going to do them Skin. two at a time, probably. Like, yeah. Down. Uh -huh. um, try and get like two roughly around the same size. So once you feel them like tense up, that means that the skin is cooking. You guys probably don't want to use your hands as much as I do when they cook. But I'm disgusting and I don't care. <clears throat> your hands are your best cooking utensil because you've got so much control over everything. Like, don't be afraid of the chicken. Just always wash your hands afterwards, otherwise you'll get food poisoning. Okay? Yeah. What is that that you got some chicken? Uh, like it's not salmonella. That's eggs, right? I don't know. E. coli? Probably. I don't know. No idea. Just make sure you shake the pan now and again just to make sure that the skin doesn't get stuck to the pan. Otherwise you're not going to end up with the crispy skin, you're going to end up with the skin all over the pan. So you want to do uh, five minutes on each side of the chicken thigh and that should cook the, partially cook the meat and crisp up the outside, okay? And also what you're doing is you're, it's called a technique called browning. So you're adding some color to the meat. Because if you just chucked it in there, it wouldn't get as nice, rich, dark brown. So when you finally finish the meal, it's going to come out a much nicer color. It looks more attractive. So while, while Cassie's, uh, I was going to call you Ali then. Yeah. Sacrilege. Oh, while Cassie's cooking these, um, you're, you're right with timing or do you want to keep an yeah, iPhone yeah, or anything? Right, okay. So while you. Cassie's doing that, I'm going to get to work on the sauce. Um, if you obviously what you're cooking on your own, it should take a bit more time, there's no rush, okay? So we've got garlic here. Can I have the big knife please? <laughs> Jesus, that's my favourite piece of cooking equipment. Do you want some pepper? You got, oh you got your pepper, yeah? You can't bring those into airports though, I love the hard way. Do you know um, my, my ex-flatmate, he I bought one of these for my sister, she's a chef. 
Yeah. And I told him about it, uh, that I bought her a present. I told him it was a big knife. But he's a, he's a bit of a forgetful person because of some of the things he smokes. Oh, yeah. And uh, he just took it in his hand luggage and uh, they took it off him and threw it, so it threw it away. Oh, yeah. So that was her birthday present. <laughs> Yeah, and you were like, oh yeah, no, I totally got you something. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, I promise. But yeah, yeah, the police took it. Like, it's such an outrageous. <laughs> no, my little brother used to joke every time that we went on flight, you know, meet Cleaver down the shirt. Yeah. And it used to be all fun and games until 9 11 happened, and then they started taking it a lot more seriously. Yeah, that happened to um, one of our school friends, a girl called Sophie Russell, right? She went to um, Ibiza. We had it like a lap. Good. We back on? Okay, so what um, Cassie's doing here is she's taking a, a bit of butter and she's putting it on top of each thigh and she's just tipping the pan and basting the thigh in butter. This is going to add loads of flavour, it's going to make it good. While she's doing that, I'm chopping up some garlic here, just chopping it really fine. Because this is going to go into our... This is all going to go into our sauce, okay? Yeah, I know. They just went out in the, in the 90s, man. You got to get with the times. Learn how to cut properly. No, I'm so bad at um, my like, knife stuff. I'll show you a couple of easy tricks. I'm not exactly a pro, but there's a few you things you can do that can lesson. make your life a lot easier. Yeah, we'll do a, we'll do a Technique 101 yes. program one day. They've got about three cloves of garlic here. You can have more or less depending on how much you like. I fucked up again with the stir. What have you done? Okay, no worries. So you just hold this button down here. Can you make then, it high temperature? Yeah. Because last so, time I had two going and it was... So you press, so once you do that, wait for it to come on, beep, and then press the plus. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Just Six, okay? Yeah. All right. Um, so, <clears throat> the whole time we've been doing this, we've preheated the oven to 175 degrees uh, centigrade or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So you to keep that on. Nice, get the oven warmed up so as soon as the chicken goes in there, it's cooking. So we add our garlic, we add two tablespoons of lemon juice, just add half a lemon, don't, don't mess around. Is two tablespoons a whole lemon, do you think? I don't know, I just do it by taste usually. When I cook, I just do it by Yeah, you can use, well, between half and whole lemon, it should be fine. These chicken thighs are quite thin. We'll keep an eye on them. Yeah. The ones in the bone will take a little bit longer, so we can always pull the other ones out. We're going to add three tablespoons of honey. One, two. Be generous. The honey makes up the most of the sauce. Yeah, it makes it nice and lean. Exactly, definitely. Um, it's actually not too far away from honey lemon chicken. Do they get honey lemon chicken in Hong Kong, or is that a British? I think it's a British food. Yeah, we always we do have, that. We, have, we do that to food, don't we? We have chow which is a honey. Chasu bao, chasu fan, chasu bao is the dip. Chasu, but it's with rice, but this yeah. chasu is just the pork. Right. With like ginger. I think we're honey. saying, I think we're saying it right. Yeah, definitely. This is Chinese. Add yeah. half a teaspoon of oregano. Yeah. Don't be shy. Plenty of flavour in there. Here. Don't oh. I did. See? There's some over there. Okay. And then add half a teaspoon of thyme. Whoa. Get it all in there. I love thyme. Thyme is I delicious. Like any kind of herb. I'm like one of those creepy people that goes to the supermarket and inhales herbs. Same, I love it. I love it. Like when we live in the UK, I live in the countryside and we've got like a, a, a whole herb garden in the summer. You just go out, pick it fresh. I always. Um, in, in my boyfriend's building in Hong Kong, we've got a herb garden. They tell you not to pick it, but of course, I'm a rebel. Nice. Give a fuck, steal all that mint. Okay. In case they're wondering where the mint went. That's delicious. Yep. Mm, good. It's good, right? Can we do a bit more salt, no? Uh, yeah, we'll do some salt and pepper to season. And some white pepper as well. I got black pepper over here. Yes, perfect, yes. 
Yeah. This is actually got some shiz run in it as well, but we'll make it more Asian style for this. Yeah. Because we're in Hong Kong. Hong Kong. In Hong Kong, man. How long have you been here again? A uh, year and a half now. Time flies by when you're having fun. Do you think you're going to stay? Uh, yeah, the business is going quite well, so it looks like I'm here. Um, the beer business? The beer, import, cider, cider wine, um, Prosecco. Ooh, I didn't know you guys did Prosecco. Yeah, I'm doing kegs of Prosecco, so it comes out of a oh, tap. So Cicada does that. Who's Cicada? It's a bar, uh, well they've been doing it for ages. They were, um, I remember seeing it and going, what is that? I know, so I'm trying to do it with all the Pizza Expresses at the moment, but uh, okay. we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We want to move into all sort of natural, um, organic, sustainable, eco-friendly stuff. Okay. See. So, yeah, it's a growing market trend at the moment, so hopefully try and sap that. I'm giving away all my trade secrets like right now, ah. so I'm sure the viewers of um, MIHK TV are gonna. Yeah. When I first did this show, I accidentally said your show was on low joke, and I had to redo it. <laughs> Fair. So we've got. I used to go like saying my old spiel when the camera first put Sean Elmer's went, Hi guys, welcome to You Can't Sit With Us, the weekly show where we get Does that become like habit? Yeah. So you do this show, do you do any anything else? Um, we had we have another show, it's on high end now, uh, which is called Excuse My English. Okay, nice. Where we teach people bad words. Oh, okay. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put this all on the tray. I'm going to pour the sauce over and then we're going to cook the cob, corn, or use the tongs, 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 tongs. There you go. Make life easy for yourself. I like to do it this the hard way. No. Ask your boyfriend. Hey. <laughs> hey. Sexual banter. Yeah. <laughs> Not orcs at all, is it? <laughs> okay, great. Um, so you put the cob in the middle? Um, you could even, yeah, sure, just sort of stick it there. Fuck okay. It. Why not? Um, do you want to grab some butter and add it to the cob? Yeah. So we're just going to glaze all these chicken thighs. You know, there really is no limit how much uh, yeah, sauce you, you can I add. mean, if you don't put enough, the, they might burn. Yeah, you always want as much sauce as you can get. Now they'll roast nicely a little. I'm just sort of sticking the butter uh, in between the husk of the corn, which is the green stuff, and the actual corn, so I'm going to rub it a little bit as well. Yeah, just rub the butter into the corn so when it bakes all the butter goes through all the rivets of the corn and oh. soaks it all the way to the core. Food is in a weird way sexual, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like you know the when you Lawson is super sexual. She is. She's, like, massage the thigh. she's almost too much though, like she's, I love her. I find her incredibly she's, sexy. She's pure filth, isn't she? I love her. Oops, I put she is quite myself. sexy, I'll give her that. So sexy. What do you mean, quite sexy? She is a bit of a party animal, by all accounts, as well, yeah. according to the uh, English she newspapers. Like fun. She I want does. To party with my yeah. <laughs> you know she drinks like that cooking water. Like, yeah, she's on it like all the time. I bet she is. Um, okay, so now we've got everything prepped like this. We're going to shove it in for about uh, 45 minutes maximum, but we're going to check it after yeah, about half does. an hour. Wait. No, no, two minutes more, like. Um, so yeah, we're going to put it in for about 45 minutes maximum. We're going to check it after about 25 minutes, see how we're doing. Um, it's important thing to remember, like in the internal temperature, if you've got a thermometer, it should be about 175 Fahrenheit or about a, um, 80, 90 degrees Celsius. Um, so Cassie's just adding a little bit of olive oil on the top to stop it burning. Um, you're going to see salt on the corn? Nice. Okay, lovely. Perfect. So, and then. While we're doing that, we're gonna start cooking some other food. Um, I think we're gonna have quite a bit of a feast today. I'm gonna feed everybody in the studio. Um, as long as they don't eat my dinner. Okay. So while the chicken's been cooking in the oven, we've been preparing this next little station. We've got a, uh, a is it a Mexican salad we're doing today? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, we don't have jalapenos, so we just have the peppers. So I guess it's just sort of a... So Cassie's going to introduce me to her salad. Uh, we were discussing before the show that we want, we needed a salad to fill uh, between two recipes, and, and she came up with this little bad boy that she's cooked at home a couple of times. So we're going to try it out. I'm going to be her, uh, her minion, and she's going to tell me what to do, what to chop, when to jump, 
And when's the drink? Jump! Ah, uh, see, I'm not a very good listener. So, um, <laughs> do, you want to, do you want to take it away? Show us what we've got to do and I'll help you out. Yeah, uh, sure. I mean, it's a salad, so it's pretty easy. We just need to chop everything up, combine the ingredients. Um, I, we'll probably only use half an onion. Uh -huh. um, the tomatoes, I do actually have a way of cutting them that makes it easier. So just to go through what we've got, we've got an onion, we've got garlic, cucumbers, we've got um, chilies, we've chilies. got cherry tomatoes. Um, lemons, we've got lime, and we've got red pepper. Our, do we need these? Oregano. We've got oregano. This one. Uh, we've got pepper, oregano, white pepper, and salt as well, um, and some olive oil. So, um, as you were saying, half an onion? Um, so yeah, we're only going to use half the onion. Usually, uh, instead of these green peppers, we'd use uh, pickled jalapenos, which you can find like in any uh, like grocery store in like the Mexican section. They come in a jar, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, pickled in a jar. I like anything. I'm like obsessed with pickles. Really? Like pickled food. It I is nice. My, have, you, have, you, have you ever had ceviche? Like, uh, yeah, yeah I, I love that. that. That's girl. good. Yeah, yeah nice. Yeah. Uh, we could do maybe that as a recipe once. Definitely. I'd have to bring in my fish though because I'm not trusting Andrew to Fair buy enough. fish. All right. ceviche. Um, okay, so. Uh, I'm really bad at these two things. Um, do you want me to cut and you tell me what okay. to do? Okay, so chop these sort of like Okay. Like that. So here's a little technique. When you hold the knife, hold it right there on the hilt. You'd okay. want to put your thumb for security. So then <laughs> use the tip of the knife as like a, um, a, a point, oh, a actually, place. Oh, actually, right there, I suppose. Mm, right? And then you, you, you chop with this bit. The reason why you chop here and not here is because you've got control of the knife and most of the pressure you use like a lever, like it's physics, right? Most of the pressure is coming through here. This bit here, the heavy science, bar. Science, bitch. It is, basic science. So you see, and then you just use the bottom of the knife, chop through. Well, that one was a bit of a big one. Yeah. So I think we only need one chili for this salad because yeah. it's going to be pretty intense, okay? Okay, do we get a big bowl? Um, and then what's next? Uh, can you do the cucumber? So you're going to slice the cucumber half lengthways. Uh -huh. And then you're just going to chop it up like similar to what you did with the peppers. Cool. So chop the cucumber lengthways, take off the ends. How many cucumbers do we want? Um, yeah, we do all three. Okay. So this salad I usually do for like barbecues or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, because you always have like those vegetarian annoying friends. Yeah, they are annoying. At barbecues. They should be shot. So I do these with like stuffed mushrooms or maybe stuffed peppers. Oh nice, is your alternative to meat, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I personally eat anything. I'll eat intestines. Do you eat intestines? I eat anything that's put in front of me. I, when I went to Thailand, I ate bugs, I ate cockroaches. Have I you ever eat... eaten tarantula? No, I haven't. That's I, pretty far out. I ate that in Cambodia, so the legs taste nice. really good. Really? They're like kind of like French fries, but then. Um, but more proteiny, right? Yeah, but then the body—it's so gross. Well, um, we are actually running out if populations keep rising the way they do. Yeah, you're meant to eat bugs, right? Yeah, yeah. They're trying of, to make it trendy now. Yeah, because it's the biggest source of protein that we're going to be able Renewable. to access. So we're using uh, one, two, three, Loads four. Loads of garlic. I four love. Four berries. Yeah. So if you're possible. if you're not a huge fan of garlic, um, you can use less. You can right? use less. We're going to use quite that a lot. That means you're a pussy. Also, garlic is really good for you. It contains I'm a lot of some olive oil in here, by the way. Garlic contains a lot of antimicrobial. Tell them how much garlic, uh, olive oil. Okay. I just put like a couple of lugs and then a pinch or two of salt. But I'll, I'll add more as I go along. So in normal speak, a couple of gloves is about um, four or five tablespoons yeah. of olive oil. You basically want Just to... to coat everything. Exactly, yeah, exactly, perfect. The bigger they are, the easier it is to get them off. Yeah, yeah. that's it's why I only one. ever use the big ones. Okay, so, <laughs> I don't even get what that means. It's just it's anal sex, it was an anal sex joke. Oh, uh, was it? Yeah. Don't worry about it, James. I'm, I'm so too, sheltered. I'm too, lovely. yeah, too old for this stuff. Okay. So Put pop all the garlic in. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, uh, can you just chop my limes into quarters, please, okay. so I can start getting all the limes. How many limes do you want? All of them. All the limes. Guys, um, you can put limes, you can put a little of the lemon juice. I like to add some of the jalapeno juice to have the jar into it, uh, but that's just because I'm super into spicy food. James says that he likes spicy food, but he doesn't really mean it, because he's a little girl. 
Not that being a whole doll is a derogatory term. I'll give you another whiskey and you'll, uh, you'll pass that on the couch. Okay, so we, we use four limes there. Um, depending on how like citrusy you like your salad, you can add sort of more or less. You really gotta do it by taste, so you're gonna get like different flavors. So the olive oil and the citrus of the lime will mix quite well. And then you just use salt and pepper to season to taste. So the two opposing flavors are the citrus of the lime and the salt. So you just gotta find your balance, what you like. Um, uh, just so taste it. So use your fresh teaspoon, have a little taste of, uh, you know, a bit of cucumber or whatever once you've uh, tossed in the salad a little bit. Got the dressing together. Um, you know, it's a bit of an experimentation. Once you know what kind of levels of each thing you like, do you want me to do that? Yeah. You'll find it, you'll find a better, um, you know, you'll find it easier and easier each time you make a salad. Most of our dressings are the same core ingredients. Olive oil, a citrus, like a lemon or a lime. You, I can. Eat, I sometimes even use uh, white vinegar in this. It depends on what. on what. Diced cubes. Or? Yeah, diced cubes. So yeah. So you Cassie know. Cassie Gears is sexy kitchen. Alt, alternative, alternatively, um, instead of using lime or lemon, you can use balsamic vinegar. We've used it before in a recipe. Mm. So check out one of my previous episodes. What, what salad did you do? Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> It's been so many episodes now. I just How many have you done? At least check. Uh, I think like ten now. I think you've done one, right? I did so one maybe nine. Burn. Um, yeah, I don't really care that much. But you don't really care about you can't sit with us. It's the best show ever. It's all, It's quite good fun. It's quite. Good fun. It's fun to be on. It's not fun to watch. What? And once they break, they're a bugger because you need to. Oh. Uh, yeah, I watched Sorry, the first couple of episodes. I think it's too British for me. I don't think I quite get the humor. What about Flight of the Concords? Oh, I love Flight it's of the good. Concords. It used to be on HBO when I was a kid in Hong Kong. Mm. That's so funny. It's so good. Uh, we've still got the corn that we're going to put in here. That's what the yellow is. Yeah. In the oven. Do you want to get it out? Yes. Oh, that smells so good and all the other bits and bobs. Ciao. Shaking. Ooh. So just put it here. Like that? Oh yeah, rub it, baby. I'm not much of a... <laughs> I'm not... <laughs> pure filth here. I don't think so. I don't know. Interesting music. These, are, these are things that we need to figure out in life, aren't they? These are things our parents would just know, wouldn't they? That like we live such... I don't think my parents would know. My mm -hmm. parents are such brats. Stop you burning your hands. Aww. My hero. <laughs> not that kind of wrestling. Okay. Mm. There's still butter on this. <laughs> um. I told you corn is good. Can I have a bite? Let me just see how that's doing. Um. So for all you Pokemon Go fans out there, I evolved me a Pidgeot. <laughs> Smashed it. Oh. And maybe more citrus? No, I think there's enough citrus. It's salt. Oh. Uh -huh. Salt and pepper. This salt and pepper mill is so annoying because it goes the wrong way. You know how you usually go that way? This one goes that way. I know. Throwing caution to the wind. <laughs> Sorry, Andrew. Soz. All your hard earned dollars down the drain. Is that enough? More, more, more. A bit more. I thought you didn't put much in. Yeah, so I usually like to use actual fresh coriander because it gives it more elevated. Fresh taste. That's pretty good. That dried stuff's not bad. Let me try that here. I like using a spoon like a grown up. Like a pro, the pro I am. Delicious, good job. All right. Thanks, man. Come. Thank you.
，隨時幫你改善血氣，醒腦提神。做嘢自然有心機啦。五天裝試飲都只係一五九啫。即刻到 M I H K 網店訂翻 set 充電啦。